Hi guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little Triceratops. To begin, draw out an oval for your Triceratops eye just past the center of your page. To draw in the eyelid, trace across the top of the eye and extend a small line towards the left. Then draw a large circle near the top of the eye and a small heart underneath for highlights. Go ahead and shade in the rest of the eye. Next, we'll come down towards the bottom of the eye to draw out a cheek by starting on one side and sweeping a curve all the way underneath and closing on the other side. And to create some extra cuteness, draw a small eyebrow just above the eye. To begin drawing the head, place your pencil or your pen just above the eyebrow and slightly towards the center of the page. Start to draw a curved line towards the right and begin to bring it down as you come past the eye. Then we're going to close off the bottom of the face by drawing a curved line underneath the cheek from the left that comes to meet the right side so that we have a narrow end that's closed for the nose and an open side to finish off the back of the head. Starting from the open side of your bottom line, start to draw a curve towards the top center of your page and begin to bring it back towards the right, stopping just past the open side on the top of the head. On the front of the nose, I'm going to draw in a horn. So I'm going to do this just by starting on top of the line and drawing a triangle or a triangular shape with a slightly curved front edge right at the top of the nose. To create the other two horns, come to the top of the head and draw in two more triangles. Then you can close off that top line by just bringing it back to meet somewhere in between your two horns. To add in some details, let's start to draw out some little curved lines along the back of our Triceratops head. So you can do this starting just between the two top horns and then coming all the way down the back of your curved line. Make as many loops as will fit and as you come towards the bottom of the face you can start to make them a little bit smaller and then stop just before you come to the bottom side of the Triceratops head. Now I'm going to draw in the first leg. So coming to about in line with the cheek, I'm going to just draw a straight line down towards the bottom of my page. Then draw a horizontal line that meets up with that so you have something like a backwards L. You can draw a small shorter line just on the other side and this is the front leg. To create the rest of the body, come to about the same height as the top of the face and start to draw a big curve that's coming straight down towards the bottom of your page and then tapers out towards the left to create a small tail. From the very end of the tail, start to draw a line that comes back towards the center of your page. And as you pass the back line, make one small little line coming back up into the body. Now we'll start drawing the back leg by beginning with a small vertical line that connects it to the tail, a horizontal line across the bottom, and then a slightly longer vertical line. Next, connect this back leg to the front leg by sweeping a small curve from the top of those two lines to close it off. We'll add the other two legs by first drawing in a small rectangle just under the belly for the back leg, and then coming in front of your front leg, we'll draw out a slightly angled line to create something like a triangle. Add little curves at the front of each foot for some toes. You can go ahead and add any kind of details you like, but I'm gonna add just some little alternating spots all the way across the outside edge of my Triceratops back. So I'm alternating these small and big and just going all the way up and around that curve. And now we're going to just add in the setting. First, I'm going to start by drawing out a ground line, making sure to draw that line in between the front and back legs and extending it out past the Triceratops on both the left and right side. 
I'm going to add a little rock. So just draw a really rough kind of curve shape. It can have a tall spot, a little low spot, and just make it nice and bumpy. And then of course I'm going to add in a cute little face. So just drawing out some little oval eyes and then a little tiny smile. I also want to add in some plants. So coming from just behind my rock, I'm going to draw a long curved line towards the top of my page and just add a small little curved loop at the top. To draw out my leaves, I'm going to start at the stem and draw one line and meet it at a point so that I have these little leaf shapes that are just coming out at different spots along the length of the stem. You can keep doing this all the way down the stem, stopping wherever you like, alternating the shape and the size of these leaves. And I'm going to add one more of these, just a little one, also coming from behind the rock. So just doing the same thing, drawing out some nice pointed leaves coming from the two sides of my stem. We can go ahead and add in a little smile to our Triceratops by just sweeping a little curve inwards towards the face and then adding a little dot for a little nostril. And finally, I'm going to just add some clouds up on the left side of my page. So just some little curvy lines, any kind of shape is totally fine just to create some clouds, maybe a big one and a little one. And that's our Triceratops. Thank you so much for drawing with me today, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. So until next time, for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.